With the release of Baldessian Arsenal, Square finally found a way to make us slackers do Eureka. With its surge in popularity, here's some things you need to know if you've never gone deep with Enemas. This is your fidget spinner, only instead of relieving stress, it gives you more of it. If you're like me and struggle with shapes, colors, and numbers, let me help you out. Right click, set to offense or defense, bam! Now your spinner can fidget itself while you watch. Eureka monsters are notorious for seeing how many lockboxes they can shove up their Pazuzus. That's where you'll be shoving them too, because there won't be space in your inventory. It's like playing WoW again, only this time I can ask someone to open it and they won't tell me to kill myself. She will sass me though. Mostly you'll get trash in these boxes, but you'll also get drugs or Barney. Sadly, looks like he got to the drugs first. You'll get flooded with materials too, so don't forget about Mutamix and Thanalon. He can change five worthless ones into maybe a crafter materia that's more valuable. Do the quest, hand over your balls, and he'll squash and squeeze them free of charge. Rather than grinding, wouldn't you rather just do the bare minimum? Well, you totally can, thanks to the challenge log, which is your XP sugar daddy you never knew you had. Or at least I didn't. I had no idea how good it was. Just knock down a harmony potion, knock him out, and the log will knock you up a few levels. You can't pull feathers off his Pazuzu till you are level 19. So if you're much lower than that, don't embarrass yourself. Put on your god dang Nemos boots and wrangle that prickly boy like the rest of us did. Dang it, Bobby. I blazed through a Nemos. I didn't blaze it through a Nemos, but I blazed through a Nemos, so blazing it would have probably made it seem like it went slower, but the point is I went through it in less than a week and got three pretty glowy weapons. You'll be done before you know it, so enjoy the good times while they last. Going from Anemos to Pagos is like going from Ida to Lise. It's like that time they changed Merle Whip's voice actor. Seven hells! Die, damn you! Friends, it is good to see you safe and well. If Anemos was Eche Homo, Pagos is the restoration. Stay and enjoy it for as long as you can because... Guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, let me know if you'd like me to make a Pagos guide in the comment section below. Also remember that you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month on Patreon. You can also support the channel for free by clicking subscribe or by sharing this video with your friends. Good luck out there and I'll see you next time. Bye.